Now, let's talk about video. There are three we found best. Static image GIFs, video GIFs, and product modeling. I will go into detail on each one of each video raw creative. Now, unlike still images, text overlay, like the brand logo, performs well with video GIFs and product modeling videos, so sometimes we include it in tests. But for static GIFs, we don't use text overlay. Now, static image GIFs. It's just a simple compilation of still images. Now, how do we make static GIFs that convert? First, we use at least three to five creatives. It doesn't have to be the same model and still image type as this example, right? Like these, these creatives, it does not have to be the same like this. Again, the creatives we choose are based on their best-selling products, not just any creatives for the sake of looking good. Now, setup. Each creative is shown for one second, and then it switches to the next creative. Once it reaches the last creative, the GIF loops back to the first creative and repeats. Then the GIF length, the length of a GIF is usually 14 to 15 seconds. Background, sound, or music, none. So here's the example, the GIF example in action. So here it plays. Boom, boom, boom. One. Just like that. Very simple and it loops back to the beginning. So in the example above, the loop happens three times to fill in the 14 to 15 seconds. This is the standard style we use for static image GIFs. Now here's another static image example with the same principles, but different style. This GIF only shows three products, whereas the previous one shows five, but this GIF shows the three products in three different ways. And I categorize them into three groups in the image above. The first way is front facing. The next one is at an angle. The next one is facing behind. Each creative is shown for 0.5 seconds instead, of, instead. So each angle or group gets shown for one second before switching to the next angle. The length of the GIF is also 14 seconds and has no background music or sound effects. Here it is in action. See how it's faster? Switches to angle. Third angle. Back to the first angle. Now, video GIFs. Video GIFs are like static GIFs, but instead of quickly changing from image to image, it quickly changes from video to video. Now, setup, usually it's 10 seconds. Equipment, quality iPhone and iPhone stand is enough. Background, sound, or music, none. Here's an example. So I'll show, this one's only nine seconds long. So I'll show the example first and then we'll break it down. All right, that's the first product. And here's the second product. So, it shows two products in two different ways, quickly. The first product is shown for five seconds, and then it transitions to the second product. The first shot is closer to the product. Then the second shot, it, it, then it quickly transitions to the second shot that has a full body fit, giving the viewer both perspectives, right? See how it's uh, close up and then full body. Now, here's another one. This one is 11 seconds long. And then in this example, the model's face isn't even showing. Instead, the focus is intensely on the product. So here is how it looks like. Just like that. Now, part one is showing the product's detail and functionality, and after six seconds, it transitions to part two. Part two is showing different colors of the same product on a full body fit. Now, next video type, product modeling videos. Unlike static and video GIFs, product modeling videos are less snappy and are used to showcase a singular product instead of multiple. Here's a standard setup. A model with a bestseller on, the crop. Sometimes it's a full body shot, sometimes it's not. What matters is the product is clearly visible. Video length, typically 10 to 15 seconds, sometimes longer. Equipment, quality iPhone and iPhone stand is enough. Background sound or music, none. Here's an example. This one is only 11 seconds long, and the, this one is the model is simulating a fitting of the product for the customer to see how it will look and fit. So here's a, here it is. So she's like putting it on, showing it on an outfit. Boom, boom, yep, boom, you get the point. Now, the model's face isn't even showing, and that's fine, because again, what matters is the product is clearly, and the fit is clearly crystal clear to the viewer. They can clearly imagine buying and wearing the product. Here's another one. This one is 14 seconds long. So here's it. Right? One model, one product. All right? Boom. It's all that, that blur. We'll go into that in a second. And then the rest is just the full body uh, fit again. 
Now, the product video, this product video cuts between the model's full body and closer up so the viewer can see its full uh, fit and details up close. So three seconds, transition here, six seconds, transition back to full body. Notice in the three second mark, when it transitions to the close up, that one, there is a slight blur before refocusing. Two, the model's head is slightly cut off. Many brands may think this is now an ugly or failed creative for ads because it might damage the brand image. That is false. These little things, done intentionally or not, make it more authentic. The more authentic it is, the more it converts. Now, client product modeling video example three. This example is much longer than the first two and it's a much slower pace. So I won't play through the full video, I'll skip through it. So first, here, I'll show you to get this how slow it is. Look, slow mo video, very slow, right? Very slow. The model's just rotating in a circle. Okay, the video's loading, All right? Here you go. Rotating in a circle, you get the point. So, let's break it down. The first part slowly shows the product from all angles as the model turns 360. After 58 seconds, the camera zooms in closer to the model and she does the same thing closer up. So in 